friends, a blessed day to you all. Welcome to our daily reflection. From the Archdiocese of Port of Spain in the Caribbean, we invite you to join us now as we bring this transformative power of God's Word into our own reality at this time. Come, Spirit of Truth. Come, Holy Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke 12, 1-7. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples, Beware of the leaven, that is, the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the darkness will be heard in the light, and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetop. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who after killing has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet, not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid. You are more you are worth more than many sparrows. Proclaim from the housetops. Whatever disciples derive from study, reflection, prayer, and contemplation, they are to eventually shout it out loudly for the world to hear. Even though there were people gathered in their thousands, Jesus was speaking to his disciples. He warned them to beware of the yeast of the Pharisees, which was their hypocrisy. The Jews believed that the yeast had a corrupting action when added to flour. In giving the warning, Jesus suggested that the Pharisees corrupted people. Jesus' teachings and example did not corrupt. He was truth itself. He did this on occasion. He often taught his disciples in private. Now he said to them, Whatever they learned in, pro in private, proclaim it to the housetops. Similarly, Whatever disciples derive from study, reflection, prayer, and contemplation, they are eventually to shout it loudly for the world to hear. Of course, public witness too and proclamation of the good news have brought persecution and death to many over the centuries. Nevertheless, evangelizers must not be deterred by threats of any kind. Disciples must always be prepared for threats, which can only hurt but not annihilate. The only one who can annihilate totally is God. We bow our heads. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now and ever shall be a world without end. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May he come long upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one, and grant you everlasting life. And the people of God say, Amen. Do have a blessed and pleasant day.